Last night I spent forever trying to figure out how to get the stupid thing armed. And after switching firmwares, I changed over to the Captain Cook, uh, I believe it's the 1.6 or the 1.7, if there even is a 1.7. I've never ever worked with any of this stuff before so this is all new to me. It's all been a learning experience <clears throat> and I finally got it. I'm using the uh, Turnigy, the 9X and for those of you that, <clears throat> I'm making this video mainly for the people that have this um, remote and you're new and you have no clue how to get it armed and so I figured it out and I want to make a video so that you can you can see it in, in action so I looked up on the internet and a, a bunch of uh, suggestions first of all you have to get all the ESC's um, all the same and my system the type that I selected was Heli and Heli 2 So what I found was that um, you actually, I have to go in reverse, but I have to bring both of these down and to the right, and that will arm it, and then both of these down to the left to disarm it. So let me go ahead and power up the tricopter so you can see. So again, it's holding both of them down and to the right. So it's very difficult to see, but the board is now armed, and I can begin to turn up the throttle, which I will, because this, this thing rocks. This is awesome. <clears throat> now you can see that the board is still armed. And to disarm it, all you have to do is bring both uh, sticks down and to the left. And you'll see the little light, or hopefully you can see the light. I, I can't tell in the video, but uh, if, if I put them down and to the left, they'll both, it'll turn off. So there it is. Awesome. I figured it out. I hope at least one person out there can use this video to figure out how to get that Turna G9X to uh, arm the board. This is, this is just badass, that's all I gotta say. <laughs>